This year has been a tough one for all of us. The months of lockdown and restrictions have had a huge impact on our mental health. Looking after our mental health has never been more important than it is now. Making positive changes that support good mental well-being is possible but can seem hard especially during uncertain times. Sometimes it can be difficult to know where to start. The five ways to well-being offer a chance to do this. Our teams across BLG Mind have put together some messages for you. We hope our short videos will inspire you to find your way. In video number five, Gemma's message is about how rewarding it can be when we choose to give. I'm Gemma and I'm going to talk to you about give, which is one of the five pillars of the five ways to well-being. And this is doing something, doing something nice for a friend or a stranger, smiling, thanking someone, volunteering your time or joining a community group, looking out as well as in, seeing yourself and your happiness linked to the wider community. And that can be incredibly rewarding and creates connections with people around you. Evidence has shown that helping, sharing, giving and team oriented behaviours are likely to be associated with an increased sense of self-worth and positive feelings. I decided the best way to demonstrate that would be to talk to friends and family and volunteers to see what giving means to them and to also talk to them about how giving has helped them in times of difficulty. Giving for me is the ultimate expression of love. For me, giving comes as a very natural thing to do. Giving comes from the heart. What does give mean to me? What does the word given mean to me? I think coming up with something to, uh, to do with giving is hard for most people. Give to me means listening. Giving to me is being there for somebody, giving them that time, um, being positive, encouraging them and reassuring them. I remember a particular low point, a friend and I were sat at a restaurant and I was telling her about all the things I was going to do to feel better and all the strategies that I had in place and all the plans. And she sat there and I talked and talked and talked and ranted and ranted and ranted. Um, and at the end of it, she didn't try and say, yes, I think you should do this, I think you should do that. She simply said, you know everything's going to be okay, don't you? Well, my gift is slightly strange. Most of my friends laugh at me for this, but I like waving at trains <laughs> and waving at lorry drivers on the motorway, not when I'm driving, when I'm standing on the bridge. I don't have much money or material things which I can give away to charity or to anybody, but with the grace of my guru, I can give my time, I can give my presence, which I just love doing. I enjoy doing that. And so I can give those things which, in return, give me a very happy life. An act of kindness is such a big thing for me. Um, when I've received an act of kindness, um, particularly from a stranger, somebody who doesn't know me, it actually makes me feel really, really good. Uh, because somebody that doesn't know me can encourage me, be positive and give me that kindness, I think, is really, really such a big thing. Um, well, volunteering with Mindful Mums has given me a life which I can say I'm really proud of. I get so much from giving to family, friends, colleagues and especially animals. For me, the one thing that I really want to try and make sure I do more of is giving time to my kids. It's the number one important thing for me. It means giving back to individuals, groups of people, friends and family, even strangers. Um, currently I volunteer at Minds and I'm giving my time to support um, new and pregnant mums with mental health problems. Whether it be advice and encouragement to my grandchildren, exchanging kind words with strangers with whom I'm engaging in shops or wherever, and seeking nothing in return except for a, a, a return smile or a thank you. I, I like giving that moment to somebody who's in a car or who's in a train, who might be on their way to work, who might be lost in their own thoughts, um, and they suddenly see some random person in the middle of a field waving at them. And um, once they've got over that, 
that's annoying. Why isn't that person at work feeling? I'm hoping that they then think, wow, that's nice. I also take part in group facilitating on Zoom, usually one-to-one. I like giving back to people face-to-face, verbally, even through telephone support. That's the sort of giving I like to do, is to help people. Um, giving to me, uh, giving to others, it really makes me feel like I have purpose um, and I feel valuable and all in all, being a volunteer has just been a really, really positive experience for me um, and that is why I'm hoping to give to others um, and just encourage them. Giving is also the ability to listen to people, to hear what they're saying. It's something that we do need to practice and listening is important to relationships and to the well-being of those who need to be heard. I'm so small, said the boy. Yes, said the boy, but you make a huge difference. And if I can come into a room and make the sunshine smile and make the room brighten up, then that's one of the most wonderful things that I think I can achieve. So many different ways of giving and so many different ways that giving has helped others to feel supported. And we do know that one act of kindness every day for six weeks helps to increase your happiness and your well-being. So perhaps that's something to try in the coming days and weeks to see how giving can help to support your mental well-being. We hope you have been inspired with ideas of how to support your mental well-being. It would be great if you can share these ideas with others or find out more by visiting our website. Take care and stay safe.